All right, guys, I'm back. Here we go. It is harvest time on our little patch of earth here. We by no means have a homestead of any kind. We do have some acreage, but we don't have animals or anything like that. Not yet. I'm still trying to convince my husband to get chickens, but we'll see. We shall see. So, but, I mean, you guys, those are my tomatoes. They're massive. All right. So anyway, each day I've just been chipping away. I get into the garden here so I don't overwhelm myself because it's so much. I'm so blessed and so thankful for so much produce, but holy smokes, it's a lot. Okay. Hey, if you are new here, my name is Renee. I live in Wisconsin and this is my YouTube channel. I talk a bit about family, I talk a bit about health and wellness, and I really love to garden and stuff like that. So I kind of dabble with being a granola mom and <laughs> I strive for those things. So we shall see. I brought down my my trusty wig in here and oops oh my gosh camera work is not my forte today sorry guys but look at this Good, beautiful all right so we got cherry tomatoes going here and I have plans to do salsa bruschetta I don't want to do any uh, I want to do the Italian family's justice by trying to pronounce it properly with my Midwest accent. Okay. <laughs> so, um, marinara sauce and salsa. So, and we use this all throughout the year. I can, oh, so many, so, so many jars. Oh gosh, I'm just, I'm dropping already. Here we go. And, but it's great. It's all healthy. It's all delicious and homegrown. And, um, yeah. It's such a treat. You're also, you're also probably sitting there wondering, good golly woman, do you really use that much marinara sauce or salsa? And the question is, yes. Over the course of a year, yes. So um, we don't tend to eat a lot of spaghetti, but I like to do homemade, like I do like non bread pizzas on the grill. We'll do homemade pizza. Um, we will do, um, I don't know, what else do we do? <laughs> We, we, I mean, the recipes are super flexible, but the marinara, sometimes we'll do um, like salsa chicken, or it's fantastic, like, you know, if we're blessing a friend who like maybe just had a baby or, you know, going through some tough times, it's great just to have something on hand and I can throw something together for him, like a lasagna or like a salsa chicken recipe, throw it in the crock pot. It's fantastic, so... Um, for those of you that don't know, I do have autoimmune disease. Um, I also have like PCOS, endometriosis, <laughs> multiple sclerosis, a lot of osis, um, if we want to put it like that. So yeah, it's, um, this is why we take some pride in doing some gardening, try to keep it as clean and fresh as possible. Um, so that we can also keep our kiddos as healthy as possible. You guys, look. I'm calling it a highlight. It's not a gray. It's a highlight. <laughs> Maybe it's wisdom. Streaks of wisdom coming through. That's what it is. I'll take it. Okay. Let's look at the garden. So here's a lot. So we have two rows of tomatoes here. And yeah, so we have let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. We have 12 tomato plants. Holy spumoni. So here we had all of our broccoli plants and we got several... Um, rounds of produce from that and then they stopped producing so we pulled them um, and we've got like our celery here is on it's kind of on its last legs our green beans are starting to go for the season which is fine we've been um, harvesting them we've kind of been eating those on the go because they're so yummy and they're great fresh so here's some um, some more peppers the bell peppers have been coming in hot that is a I think this yeah this is like a jalapeno we like our jalapenos. Look at all of our kale, guys. If you have any kale recipes or ideas to do with all the kale, it's great. We've been doing like the smoothie thing, chopping them into salads. But I'm like, man, there's so much of it. Like, what do we do with all of it? So, yeah, I don't know. 
I feel like we can always learn, always know about other ways of doing things, right? Oh, holy. You guys, look at this, my hand. It fills my entire hand. Oh, no, no, come back. Oh, so sad. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Gotta be, I gotta do better. All right, so you're probably sitting there wondering why I've got you out here at my garden is because I'm just gonna sit and I'm actually gonna sit on the ground here and just chat with you for a minute. Oh, here we go. Oh man, with my MS, I get a lot of back pain and it's like a lot of nerve damage kinds of things. So sitting down, I'm like, I'm not that old. I'm still in my thirties and I'm like, okay. It's like got a long way to go, girlfriend, but here we are. Okay. So anyway, um, there are some new things happening for me, which I'm excited. I kind of dabbled a little bit on it on my last video. Um, I am going to be put on a new medication, which is what I brushed up on. And I'm kind of excited about it. I'm a little nervous about it, but I'm looking forward to it because it's going to bring so many positive changes um, to my life. Really? That's Riley. Riley. Hi, buddy. He's so handsome. Okay, so it's gonna um, it's gonna bring so many positive changes, and I'm really looking forward to it. So you know, for the most part, of, like this channel, I've mostly talked about um, health and weight loss, like fat loss stuff like that. And I've had you know, like a lot of people, we go through these, um, you know, these spurts where like we're doing really really well, and everything is going you know as it should be, right? Like we're we're eating the right things. We're tracking the right things. Like, you know, we pick a plan and we, and we go for it. And, um, and that worked well for a while. I lost 65 pounds following like a low carb keto diet, which is fantastic. Um, then as some of you know, who followed me for a little bit, you know, that I started to gain again and I'm going like, what in the world is going on? Because I was still eating the same foods. Like I wasn't messing around. And, um, so I went to a doctor and they're like, well, your PCOS will be messing with you totally messing with you, like with your hormones and this and that. And I'm sitting here racking my brain, trying all these different things. And, um, it was just a mess. It was a total mess. And it was totally disheartening. And you're sitting there going like, what in the world am I going to be doing? Like what? I just don't know. Cause you're like, wow, do I have to do like one more thing? I don't know. Anyway. So, um, I'm going to be, uh, put on or be not put on like, Oh, no, I need to stand taking a, a weight loss drug. Um, and I know some people have mixed feelings about that, but you know, when you're nearly 40 and you've done all the things literally, and you, um, you have a lot of illnesses that hold you back, that keep you from being successful and from living a life that you could be leading. Like it's different. It's different for those people who are actually experiencing it. And it's not for lack of trying. It's not for lack of motivation or discipline or skill set like it's it's way more than that you know and I think a lot of there's a lot of um opinions shared that um people you know shouldn't be doing these taking like these drugs because they should just work harder do better you know you know stop overeating and this and that I'm like y'all you have seen me eat like I'm no like that is not the case. Sometimes it is just our bodies fighting us tooth and nail and for multiple other reasons. And so, um, this is not a drug for like diabetics or anything like that. So it's like, I know there's a lot of things going on out there too, where people are saying like, well, you shouldn't be taking drugs away from the people that need it. Like Ozempic and stuff like that. Um, and you know, it's kind of a horse of peace. You know, we, People need to be healthy, and there's many other people out there, men and women alike, who have struggled just like me, who have troubles just like me, and um, I'm looking forward to it. So um, there is a shortage at the moment, in case you haven't heard about that. So, um, you know, I was prescribed this um, medicine over a month ago, and I'm just still waiting uh, for that to come into stock, and then we shall begin. So, and I plan to share, share that journey with you. Um, yeah, 
So, and I would like to start sharing more of my life here in Wisconsin. So, um, as most of you know, there's been like a heat wave. There's been all sorts of crazy things going on here late in August of 2023, as it is. It got up to be well over 100 some degrees. Um, I think it's 100 some degrees is like kind of manageable, right? Like you can manage that. But when the humidity kicks in, the Midwest gets so humid. Like, and it's everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri. Like it is, it is so gross, guys. It is so gross. And like, <laughs> I took a picture the other day of the front door and it was just sweating with dew and humid. Like it was just incredible. <laughs> incredible so anyway all right i'm gonna get crack a lack in on harvesting more tomatoes and i'm gonna stop talking okay guys so i wrapped everything up in the garden for now like i harvested a massive amount of vegetables and so i'm like okay girlfriend it is hot get back inside because you know if you understand ms multiple sclerosis so you know that you cannot stay outside in humidity for very long because you can start to have symptoms flare up so I was just careful and honored those limitations and inside I, I came and here we are. So um, yeah, fed the crew some lunch because we're still on summer holidays. So here we are and I'm just kind of taking it easy, did a little bit of work and um, yeah, now I'm going to bake cookies because it's summer and that's fun. So let's have a crack and look at this. Take time now and think about what you got Look inside, draw the surface curtain You can be certain, my friends, we got a lot And everyone's got their own stories of Alright, so the day has definitely gotten away from me I've been like cooking tomatoes all day There's one there I've got a pot filled here And have one venting Where is it? On the deck over there It's all blurred but I've been like stewing the tomatoes just to kind of cook them down a little bit, soften them, and I can add all my other shenanigans to it later. So that is good. Progress. Progress, not perfection, right? And now it is it is dinner time. I've been running my kids to their activities because school, school is starting soon. And I got two boys in football. And then one, my teenage daughter is doing color guard for the marching band, which has been super fun. So, busy, busy, but that's okay. That's okay. They have fun and they love it. So, um, here's what I'm making for dinner. So, I have this everything but the bagel. See, oh, yeah, and everything bagel. There we go. Everything bagel. And then I made like a garlic paste, if you will. It's like, you know, you roast your garlic on the grill and then or in the oven with olive oil and it becomes soft and it smells amazing. And so you can use it as like a spread or in your dishes. It's awesome. And I did the same, like I roasted a bunch of peppers and got that. So they're on there. Sliced onion, red onion, and fresh tomatoes from the garden, and avocado because avocado. So I'm gonna put that together. It's gonna be a mess, but I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> and so, yeah, and that's gonna be my night. So I'm definitely feeling very tired. I am. Um, it's a lot this time of year because you know energy is low so with the ms and then trying to get back into the workforce and all that kind of stuff it's different so in any case i'm looking forward to like spending some time with my kiddos tonight just maybe watching a show or something or a movie snuggling up staying out of the heat because man oh man <laughs> i was just gonna say i still have like dirt like around my fingernails from being in the garden i can't like it actually it's kind of fun. So I will clean it. Anyway, that's it for this vlog today, guys. I'm just kind of, I know it wasn't anything super exciting or super fun, but you know, it's just like how life is sometimes. So um, something I've been doing a lot lately though is um, really been getting into like freezer meals and crock pot meals. Um, they have been saving my booty this summer. So maybe I'll get more into that too some ideas, some things that are fun. I've been doing the, that whole method too of um, 
you know, just making a bit extra. So I have something for dinner and then something to freeze for later, which is fantastic. So yeah, so maybe more on that. So, all right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.